Colin, we're here just for an update on the Bowling Green situation. Can you give us a little bit of an insight? Well, the, the latest thing is, is the re one vision that refuses access on this Bowling Green. Um, we have, I really have got a right to be on there. We've been there for 90 years, but they won't let us on because we wouldn't sign a lease to say that we would vacate the Green in October, which would be a benefit to them. <coughs> So just to reiterate, reiterate the thing that they put in the champions and said they bent over backwards to help us. They have, the only thing they've bent over backwards is to get us off this green with as little fuss, as little cost and as little publicity as possible. <clears throat> We've gone down all sorts of avenues to try and save this green and stumbling blocks all the time. And one of the people that's got involved is Lynn Booth, who used to be the company secretary for RBMB. <coughs> She's tried, tried to discredit our claims. God knows why she wants to get involved with it. She sold the place, so why she wants to get involved with the dispute between us and one vision is beyond me. All I can think of is she's still got an interest in the bowling green. We know she was selling it for 350000 We know now that one vision bought the lot for 300000 We know with their help, to Scaresbury Estates because of the restricted covenants. We know just for the neighbour state around here, they're not putting four Victorian semi detached houses here, they're putting 16 counts flats I call it because it's not all excess to that one. So if you work that out, it's less than 20,000 a plot. So they're doing our ice out of that bit of land there, we could afford, in my eyes, to leave this board and be alone. They say they work with the community of one vision, but this bowling green ticks all the boxes for this community. It's used all the time. And the planning, when the plans do go in, should be thinking that this ticks the boxes to be designated as if a local community green space. And they should be saying to them, to be retained, and unless you retain, don't you retain it. We're not going to grant you your planning permission for you for these 16 plans. That's what should happen in my eyes. <coughs> now, with other solicitors' letter, because the grass has been getting cut, they don't want that because they want that bit of bowling green to look like it's been neglected. And I can just give you a quote. Fellow called uh, Dave Griss's Griffiths from the Addy Consultancy, who we met the first time we met them. When, when they said bend over backwards to help us, first time we met him, and he sat there and he said to us across the table, he said, "Look, you lads are in the devil's advocate situation here. We go for planning, we win, you lose. You object to this planning, we win again, and you lose because." that land will go fallow. That's the sort of people you're dealing with. And I'll give you another quote from him. We said to him, well look, we're going to fight this. We're going to go to the plan. I mean, if we have to, we're going to go to court. And he said, well, we've got deep pockets. Well, the thing is, Dave, we haven't got deep pockets. We're just working class lads play on a working class bowling green. And about 100 not working class lads bowl them here, but God knows when. We haven't got the benefit, like you are have, of dipping into a £500 million fund for your housing association. The plan them will look at this and say, right, you know, wrong. they want this ball to say I, I just so. forgot to mention, we met Roy Williams, who was the chief executive for World Vision, on this green to say that we wanted to buy it. And he valued that bowling green at a quarter of a million. So you weigh it up, 300,000 for that for the lot, 16 council flats. Value of this is a quarter of a million, so they've probably got to put three bungalows on there. They've done quite well out, out of it. And I just also let them know that the neighbours, that my mother lives over there in Windsor Road, and then this Adactus Association, quite happy looking at that bowling green, and they want it to stay.